Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a four week launch plan that can help you launch a profitable work at home virtual assistant business online. So if you are interested in becoming a virtual assistant and want to launch your own online business in the next four weeks, then this is the video you need to watch. I know a lot of you want to work from home, but you have no idea what you want to do. You have so many options. You can be a virtual assistant, you can be a freelancer, you can do this, that, blah, blah, and blah. For all these people who are confused, want to work from home, and want to make money online, then becoming a virtual assistant is the best option that you can have. So stay with me till the end because I'm going to talk about free resources, courses, trainings, workshops, and webinars that can help you get started the right way. They're going to help you create a plan step by step that can help you launch a profitable virtual assistant business online in the next four weeks. Now, I'm going to summarize all of these free resources at the end of this video, but to use them perfectly, to use them the right way, stay with me, watch the video till the end because I'm going to refer to each one of them as and when they should be used. Okay? So, are you ready to become a virtual assistant? work from home and make a full-time income working from home and I'm talking about somewhere from $5,000 to $10,000 and more and yes it is possible and we are going to talk about how you can achieve that by launching your own virtual assistant business in the next four weeks. Now for those of you who do not know whether or not they want to become a virtual assistant and they want to work from home I have a great resource for you. Now this you can find it in the first link in the description box below it is a profitable work from home kit that can help you find the right option for you depending upon your skills and experience and what you are comfortable with. You can see up top a review of our profitable work from home kit. When she started out, she had no idea what she want, wanted to do, but with our kit, she was able to find out skills that she never ever thought that she had, and she could monetize to make a full-time living working from home as a virtual assistant. So if you are serious about it, I would advise you to click the link right now and invest in yourself and buy this profitable work from home kit because it is going to really help you create a plan in detail. While I'm going to talk about an overview of four-week plan, this ebook goes into the detail of each and every step. So yes, check out the first link in the description box below. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi guys, I am Chavi, the owner of Mrs. Daku Studio, a place to find work from home jobs and different ways of making money online. So if you are interested, if you are serious about working from home and making money, do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. So week one, okay, so in week one, you're going to have to do a lot of things. So do not get scared because in week two, three, and four, you will have much lesser work to do. So now in week one, the first thing I want you to do is to assess your skill. When you're assessing your skills, I want you to take a pen and a paper and keep some, some time aside to work on this exercise. Now this is going to take a lot of your time because you need to analyze what experiences you have, what jobs you've had, and what skills you can monetize or not. So for this purpose, the first resource that you're going to use is a 150 plus list of services that you can offer as a virtual assistant. You can find the link in the description box below. Click on it, sign up and get that list. Get your hands on that list because it's going to help you out with this exercise. You're going to go through the list of services you can offer and see whether or not you have that skill or whether or not you are interested in getting that skill and how easy it is to get this skill right now. Now, once you've understand, understood what skills you have, you're going to do a gap analysis. That is, you're going to understand what is one or two services that you can learn in a week or two and offer it as a, offer it when you become a virtual assistant. So, for example, if you are interested in becoming an administrative virtual assistant, then your job would be to manage calendars, manage emails, appointment settings, etc. So now, if you already know how to manage a calendar but do not know how to manage an email, then you are going to spend some time learning email management. For that purpose, you can go Google a few free courses, resources on how to manage your emails. You can read blog posts, you can go on Udemy and see if there is any course that you want to buy, or you can go on Skillshare and see if there are free classes online that teaches you how to manage emails. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about gap analysis. So see what are the skills you already have and what are a few skills that you should have in order to be, in order to provide the services your clients would expect from you. 
at a minimum, even with some basic, basic skills of virtual assistant, you can earn $10 per hour. Now, if you go on to upskill yourself and and get specialized skills like the outreach or conversion or conversion skills, logo designing, website designing, etc., you can charge as much as $100 per hour. When you have specialized skills, people and clients are ready to pay more money to you. So for example, if you become a conversion specialist, you help your clients convert leads into buyers, then you can charge them a hell lot of money and they're going to give it to you because you are actually making them money. So you understand the kind of skills, right? So the kind of skills and the kind of services you're going to offer is going to be directly proportional to the amount of money you're going to make. So the better skills you have, the more specialized skills you have, the more money you can make. Now we are going to talk about how to land clients a little bit later in the video so stay tuned with me next thing that i want you to do is to create certain packages now packages are basically services that you are going to combine in one package and offer to your clients so for example your package one could be email management calendar management appointment setting for five hours in a month now that could be priced at somewhere between hundred dollars to two hundred dollars for example now understand that when you are offering a service for lesser amount of time then you charge higher. But when you are offering them services for a lot more number of hours, you can charge a little lower. So that is to basically entice them into signing up for more hours. So you basically can give them a $100 or a $150 discount depending upon what you are comfortable with. So create two or three of such packages and you will be promoting them to your clients. Now this also makes you look professional so it is very important that you take some time out and work on creating packages that you're comfortable with. The next step in the week one is to create a basic website. Now I'm not talking about some amazing designer website that you have to spend thousands of dollars into. I'm talking about a very simple website that you can create with WordPress, Wix, Weebly, etc. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you can get your hands on right away. Now this website is going to be a very basic one so it's going to tell what you are going to offer to your clients what are your packages and how they can contact you and as and when we go ahead you are going to also add what other clients have to say about you and that is the testimonials that is basically social credibility and it instantly creates some sort of trust in you as a virtual assistant so testimonials are very important on your site the last step in a week one is to find out Facebook groups where online entrepreneurs hang out and join them. And there are hundreds of groups where all these growing, budding and already established online entrepreneurs hang out and you're going to be a part of it. Now, what I want you to do is to not pitch your services directly. What I want you to do is to help other people out without pitching your services. You need to make a conversation. You need to make a conversation with them, help them out and create trust. They need to see you as somebody who can help them out, see you somebody with knowledge and they would probably sometime approach you to ask if you can help them out with something. And that's when you can pitch your services. Right away, do not ever pitch your services in a Facebook group that's, that's spammy and does not look nice. And it's not something professional virtual assistants would do. So keep that in mind. Groups, you can find direct clients because there are people who post their jobs, post job opportunities. They're also looking out for people who can help and do offer services so they can hire out. So when you help them out, they might think about hiring you because you give that much value to them. There's one more thing that can happen is when they know that you are somebody who has the knowledge and can help somebody out, they also do referrals. So if a blogger asks another bloggers, they might just suggest your name and that's how you get clients. So Facebook groups are a very important part of finding clients as a beginner virtual assistant. So just to summarize everything, your first step is to assess your skills. Your second step is to learn an additional skill. Your third step is to create packages and decide on a basic rate. And your fourth step is to create a basic website. And last but not the least, find out Facebook groups and join them. Now in the second week, what I want you to do is to ask in these Facebook groups if there is somebody who would want help for free. Now I know that you just, just clinched at the fact that you're going to be working for free but it's going to help you out because you're new to becoming a virtual assistant and you have never done that so it is going to be a good practice it is going to give you experience and it is also going to help you with 
giving your best services to the client going forward. So I wanted to figure out if there is anybody you can work for. You can ask your friends, family, acquaintances, your colleagues, your neighborhood, or you can post in this Facebook groups. There is always some other, other person who wants to hire a virtual assistant. And if you're giving your services for free and if you can show them that you're valuable and can help them out, then they may just end up hiring you. And if they're not hiring you, they might end up referring you to other bloggers. So I want you to get at least five clients that you can work for free. I'm not talking about keep working for them or keep work for them, work for them for a lot of hours, but maybe a few hours, one or two hours, or probably one or two projects for them. Enough to gain some experience and gain some testimonials. So your next step is to do this free work and ask for testimonials. So testimonials are basically social proofs I want you to have in your website. It instantly creates that connection. It instantly makes a client feel that you're trustworthy and you have done work for others and that people have good things to say about you. Then maybe you are that good. So it's that little bit of motivation, little bit of encouragement that any client wants to see you, wants to see on your website before hiring you. So let's recap week two. Your only two things that you have to do in week two is to find clients to work for free. I advise you uh, find at least five clients that you can work for free for five different types of projects, five different kind of services and uh, gain testimonials from them. So let's talk about week three. The only focus of week three is going to be finding paying clients for yourself. So the first and the easiest one to get a feel of becoming a virtual assistant is to apply to virtual assistant jobs online on platforms like Daily Solutions or Fancy Hands. There is already a video that I have done, done on four virtual assistant jobs that you can find online. So I'm going to link that video in the description box below so you can go and find that video easily. The second one is to sign up with freelance websites like Upwork or Fiverr. So a client goes there, uh, describes what services they're looking for, and there are a lot of freelancers that bid on the project. And then whoever is, has the lowest bid or the most optimized bid for that particular service that the client is looking for, they get hired by the client. There is also an interview process in between when you're bidding and if you're shortlisted for the interview, then you're going to be interviewed and then the client is going to hire you or not, depending upon how it goes. Now, I generally do not recommend Upwork because it is not a scalable method of making money as a virtual assistant. But as a beginner, as somebody who does not have much experience or clients right now, it is a good way of finding clients in the start. Now, you're going to have, you are going to have to put a lot of hours into this, okay? This is the numbers game. The more you bid, the more chances there are for you to land a virtual assistant job on platforms like Upwork. So give enough number of hours in week three doing this. Doing this, You do not have to do this later on. Once everything is set, once you have enough number of clients, once you have enough number of testimonials and you have some social proof and you understand and learn the new and other marketing techniques, then you can move away from platforms like Upwork. I really recommend you to not stick with platforms like Upwork or with virtual assistant job companies like Beely Solutions or Fancy Hands if you are looking to make a full-time income working from home as a virtual assistant. The third one is Facebook groups. We have already talked about how to utilize Facebook group. Now, there is a very specific blog post that I wrote about how Facebook groups can be used for marketing your services and landing clients. It, the link is in the description box below, so do check that out. You can also take up virtual the Virtual Savvy's booked out webinar. Now that is something where she talks about how you can make more than $100,000 as a virtual assistant and where to find clients. Both of her um, resources, the checklist and her webinar are great resources to begin your virtual assistant career with. So. The links are in the description box below. Do not forget to check them out. The last and the final one is cold pitching. That is directly emailing or calling your potential client and asking if they are hiring and if they want to get some job done. So this is basically cold outreach. Now this is one of the best ways of landing clients. Maybe not that effective in the starting because you do not have social proof or you do not have proof of achievement without which it gets a little difficult to gain credibility and gain trust of the client that you're pitching. 
because you have to tell them how you are valuable to them and you do not have that kind of experience to tell them so for example if you're a freelance writer uh, you can tell how make a co post go viral for somebody or uh, the number of leads they got from a particular post that you wrote or if it got a lot of organic traffic from google those are the kind of uh, achievements you will have as a freelance writer but if you are starting out as a freelance writer if you are giving content writing services as a virtual assistant you cannot have all these experience right away you will take some time to have these achievements so cold pitching is going to be a strategy which i'm going to adopt later on but it is a good idea to um, take a look at it and understand when and where you can do this because in the long run you will have to do this um, let's just recap in week three you're going to find a client my recommendation is to sign up with upwork right away and focus on facebook groups leave the rest out do not uh, spend your time applying for jobs in virtual assistant companies or on um, cold outreach it's not going to work out right now so focus on facebook groups and focus on upwork i would say spend more time on facebook groups than on upwork right now because your um your aim should be to build relationships with owners with business owners that can hire you or can refer you to other business owners help them out learn learn what kind of questions people ask what kind of services they are looking for what kind of services are in demand and so you can change your uh, packages accordingly you can learn those skills for example if you are going to be in any bloggers group you will know that how how much pinterest services are in demand so you can invest in yourself and learn how to use pinterest to gain traffic and lead conversions and how to run pinterest ads etc so depending upon what is in demand you can start learning that again if you're serious about working from home do check out the profitable work from home kit because it's going to take you through all these steps in details i know it is not a free resource it is a paid resource and you may not be interested right now but it is a very affordable product and give it a moment go onto the page check out the product and see how useful it can be for coming up with a plan or for knowing if virtual assistant is the best job for you or if there is something else that suits you better so it's a great way of starting out your work from home career for week four now your week four is going to be completely focused on the one platform that is working for you so if you have spent some time on facebook groups and upwork in one week you are going to understand what is working for you and what is not working for you and in the fourth week i want you to focus on that one platform to find new clients there you go this is all about how to launch your own online business as a virtual assistant in four weeks now let's sum up all the free resources and trainings that we have talked about through this video and two of them that i missed in the video so let's talk about all those resources right now don't forget the links are in the description box below let's go so guys this is the time to talk about the free virtual assistant trainings we have been talking about this entire time the first one that i want to talk about is the list of 150 plus services that you can offer as a virtual assistant now this is a product that has been created by gina hockey of the hockey handbook she is extremely popular in this niche and her products are really useful and can help you get started the right way so this is their landing page you can find the links in the description box below you have to sign up and grab click on grab my workbooks now as a part of signing up for her newsletter you are going to get this product for free that is 150 plus services you can offer as a virtual assistant and you can find yourself saying i can do that i can do this already more times than you count and that sounds like an amazing thing to have right so go ahead and sign up and grab this list of 150 plus services because that is a starting point and you need to decide what services you are going to offer as a virtual assistant Besides that, you are also going to get a few other things like a self-assessment workbook that can help you decide what services are right for you. Their super popular Define Your Why worksheet that helps you understand your core motivators and goals and some amazing student success stories that can inspire you and motivate you to launch your own virtual assistant business from home. The second one I want to talk about is Breaking into VA Work with Gina. It's a webinar where you can find her, you can look at her, you can hear her teach and you can see if you can relate to her and if you like her teaching style. I'm sure you will because she's really thorough with what she does. 
in this webinar she deals with what a virtual assistant is what a virtual assistant does if there's really if there's really a need for virtual assistants and how to get started working as one so these are all the basic things that you need to know before you get into the virtual assistant space these are the two free trainings i want you to grab as soon as possible now there is another one this is a become a booked out virtual assistant free training by abby she is the owner of the virtual savvy and she is a popular and a leading teacher in this space the landing page for become a booked out virtual assistant you have to provide your first name and email address click on watch now to get access to this training during this free training you will learn how you can quickly earn $100,000 or more than $100,000 working as a virtual assistant what paying clients are really looking for in a VA and that is a gem of a lesson how to find thousands of clients who are waiting for your services thing that you need to know because clients are very important to any business so this is it um you can find the link in the description box below grab this training and watch it and the next one is is a free virtual assistant checklist and a starter kit by abby now this contains the, her signature method for starting a virtual assistant business all in a easy to follow blueprint with the help of this starter kit you will also know how to make real money working at home without any special certifications or qualifications she also shares her secret sauce free training provided on the final page of this starter kit and she also shares how to get your business set up and ready for finding clients in as little as one week putting all the four free trainings together you will know exactly how to launch your profitable work from home career as a virtual assistant in one week there you go this is all about how to become a virtual assistant in 30 days if you find the content helpful, if you think it's going to help you launch a profitable work from home virtual assistant business in the next 30 days, do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to click on the bell icon below so you get notified every time we upload a new video about working from home and making money online. Thank you and see you next week.